I know we're getting tired of these snakes in these bins. Trust me, I'm tired of it too. There you go. Turkey quid. Launch. Look at him! He already ate it! What's your problem? None of the other, I mean, none of the other squams are like this guy. Now she's gonna just continue to get more and more and more beautiful. A little bit of enrichment. Oh! There's enough venom in there, so I'm gonna boil that baby, man. Pleasure beater. Right as we're about to turn around. Oh, I need to bring my light out here. Oh, bugger. Where you going, Mont? Where you going, Mont? Look at him. The bear meets Python. All right, guys, we caught one. I'm gonna put my phone down because I'm gonna get bitten and pooped on if I don't. Bye, snake. Well, children, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back. Florida heat's got the mullet acting a little crazy. Out here at this little park by my house, chasing after some six lane race runners, some Magamas, some black racers, just messing about. It's about 12 o'clock right now. Just had some, some energy left over after the gym, so get some steps, run a bit, jog a bit. Beside the point, we got a fun video today that I was trying to upload yesterday, but my file corrupted, so I had to re-edit the video. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll just go live on YouTube for, for Sunday. Since I was gonna post on Sunday, can't post, we'll just go live. I'd never gone live before, and you need a 24 hour notice before you go live for the first time. Just rookie YouTuber things, guys, you know? We're not even, we're just about a year in, so. Still learning, but that's okay. We got some snake poop to clean. Oh, actually, I'm gonna run to the reptile store first. I'm gonna go to CBK, our friends over at CBK. You know we love Cold Bloody Kingdom. So we're gonna head over there. We're gonna buy some food. We're gonna get head home. We're gonna feed some snakes. We're gonna clean some poop. We're gonna do what we love to do. We're gonna take care of our critters. So I'm excited for that. Wow. I wonder what this creature was. Pretty big vertebrae. Pretty distinct jaws there. What do you guys think? Possum, raccoon, a little rodentian. Rodentian's not a word, but whatever, we'll ignore that. No top of the skull. A lot of ribs here. Guys, leave a comment what you think this animal was. I'm gonna probably go possum or raccoon based on this. But the bottom jaw is a little weird. I'd expect bigger canines from a raccoon and a possum. Here's one of the teeth from the top jaw. Well, well, something got to it. It looks like it's been here quite a while, so I'll leave it, leave it how it is and keep it pushing. kids we're back where do you think we are take a guess take a guess take a guess guesses anyone guesses you're right we're in the snake room you're so smart there's only a few things that can be done in a snake room most of which happen to involve snakes just like today's activity we're gonna be taking pinkies feeding them to pinky eaters so we got some pinkies we're gonna feed some baby vipers and we're gonna feed george and we're gonna feed the wagglers we're gonna clean up some poop in the pine snake and in the boas because we fed the larger snakes the other day off camera sorry and for the first time in a while, we're gonna get in with this Diamondback very carefully, very quickly, just to give him a new hide box. By the way, shout out to CBK Reptiles for the free hide. We love you. All righty, buddy. Where's your head, mister? Oh, that's a pretty boy. That's a very pretty boy. Are you a one hunger snake? How you doing? Oh, and that's that, folks. Now, good news, guys. I know we're getting tired of these snakes in these bins. Trust me, I'm tired of it too. We're doing a trade with Florida legend. You all know Will Nace, of course. So we're gonna do a trade with Will Nace. I'm gonna give him some pythons as feeders and he's gonna come over with some cages and help me deck out these squams. We are very pumped for that. So make sure you stick around for that. And don't worry, we still got an episode with Justin medicating this rattlesnake. 
big week ahead of us, children. Next up on our list here, scales to pay the bills, brother. Now we're just using the last of these pinkies that we got last time, you guys. Don't worry, big meal's coming soon. Oh, there, buddy. Looking through the camera made that look a lot closer than it was. Now he's so defensive that feeding him can be difficult because this guy, when you look at him, oh, bugger. Now that sucks. These tongs are not very big, kids, and I'm not gonna reach my hand in there. Get bit by him, so let me grab a hook here. Bro, you got issues, man. All I do is clean your poop. Look at him. Yeah, dude, whatever. Look at him. What is your problem? None of the other, I mean, none of the other squams act like this guy. All right, he's way too worked up right now, and I'm not even gonna take a chance feeding him. And by that, I mean I try to take a chance feeding him, and he won't eat, he just keeps trying to bite me. So we're gonna move on to the blue squam, and then to the wagglers. Last but not least, most certainly not least, our best eater here. Ooh, a little grumpy today, aren't you? Settle down, smell it out, figure it out, dude. Take it easy, nice and breezy. There you go, target acquired, launch. Oh, you hear the fangs? Look at him, he already ate it. What the hell? Look at the pinky. Father, save. All right, that's a little dark. Heasel, peasel. Hey dude, are you gonna chew on that or? No, you're just gonna terminate it? All right, cool. This snake eats like no other man. It is seriously crazy. Well, I guess the pine snake could probably rival him for aggressiveness and how much he eats, but the quickness this snake puts these pinkies down. Now again, the meals are a little small, but we get that part. Look at him. <laughs> that is too crazy, dude. Absolutely freaking beautiful. We're gonna stop him in two today. We fed him a lot last time. We don't wanna overfeed these snakes. So we're gonna move on. Look at our beautiful, beautiful girl. We're gonna give her a nice meal here. Let's see if she takes it down. This will be a big one for her. She's only ever had mice. So we're gonna see. Tickle that tail a bit. Okay, mamacita. Uh, take a bite. Take a bite, baby. She don't like it, huh? You don't like rat? I thought you might like it. Oh, there it is. There it is. This will be such a good meal for her. Oh, I'm very excited to see her take this meal. Now she's gonna just continue to get more and more and more beautiful, especially taking down very healthy meals like this, a rat pup and a rats. You know, I don't know the science behind it, but I know they're much healthier than a mouse. Higher in calcium, higher in protein. <laughs> I'm gonna just stand over here, chill a bit, give her some time. This is, that is a big, big meal for the snake. I'm not even gonna worry about filming her yet. I'm gonna let her get about halfway, film the second half. Penny would like to be in this video. We're about to have to go out there and beat some dog butt. Did that sound? No, that sounded fine, right? Okay. The point is, sorry, I got distracted. It's a really big meal for this Wagless Viper. So we're gonna chill, feed some other snakes, let her do her thing. Once she's about halfway done, we'll get a little bit of B-roll, some with some good music going. You know how you know how we do on here, man. You know where we be on. So let's go feed George, eh? Hey you are George, I'm on. Hello, George. Wanna come in for some dinner? He comes out of the bush like an aggressive fiber. A North American red rat snake also known as the corn snake, is an absolutely voracious predator. One of the most aggressive snakes in all the land. It watches its stalks and aggressively. Look at the power. Can you tell George has been a captive snake his whole life or what? He said, boy, give me that rat. Boy, let me get that rat, well, boy. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Pretty sure that's what he said. How cool is it that we got George back, guys? My first ever, my first ever snake. I remember when he was a little worm. And then when I, one of the first times I ever fed him, he ate a piece of mulch and I had to take him to the vet and I cried. He was fine, obviously. He looks fine, he is fine. George, George, George of the jungle, eating the fat rat. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Where's the porn snake? Where is he? 
Wait, it's a snow again, right? Oh, my, there he is. Oh, my, how are you morning today, Bob? You feeling good, buddy? Oh, yeah, my, look at you. No, my point's sinker didn't start. Oh, bugger, oh, bugger. He didn't start as the most friendly of snakes, but he's a good guy. And we love him all the same. Hey! Ooh, look at him. He's a grind. Dude, I'm wearing a Carhartt hat. I'm not scared of anything. It's just easier to get him out real quick. Let him know he's not getting fed. Give him a little, little handling, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of enrichment. Oh! So I'm gonna throw him back in there. We're gonna clean some poop out and then, uh... oh, the waggler's almost done eating. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the beauty of the waggler's viper. I mean, seriously though, look at that. Those stretched out scales, all that black. The eyes going crazy, the patterning. Oh my goodness. How can you not love a waggler's viper? Quick reminder, do as I say, not as I do. What I'm doing now, okay, that's the pine snake. So I'm gonna get this Easter now. The first time I've opened her cage in six or seven days, it's been quite some time. Whenever I posted my last video, so sometime, we're gonna get her out real quick. I gotta clean her cage and I got a new hide box for her. So I guess let's just get into it. Remember, this is not a snake I know very well. Now, yes, the times I've worked with her, has she been a very gentle, well-mannered snake? Yes. But she's been through a lot lately, and you never know when something can change in their demeanor. With that being said, let's get to it. It's a big girl, you guys. That's a big girl. This is an animal that demands respect. It's humbling. It's almost hard to talk. You guys are used to the pros, you know? Chandler and Tyler, those guys, they're used to it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not the same kid you once saw on Tyler Nolan's channel. I'm, I'm comfortable with this animal. But, but it is so surreal that I'm in my own home with my own rattlesnake. And the, the principle of that almost shakes me more than, I've handled so many Easterns, you know, so it's no big deal, especially when she keeps proving to be so nice. But there's something about that connection in my brain when I'm like, wow, this is really my rattlesnake. Like, life's just a trip. So I'm very thankful for you guys for being on this trip with me. Of course, I'm thankful for Tyler, Chandler, and Stone for helping me on this venomous journey. I'll say that every time, and you guys know I will. Those are my boys. That's beside the point. Let's put this new hide box in there. Let's see how she likes it. Now, they say, man, a little bit of progress is better than no progress at all. So we're really happy about this free hide from CBK Reptiles. Big shout out to them. Put some moss in there. If she doesn't end up liking it, I'll take it out. But I figured maybe a wet hide in this really... I mean, the cage is just so boring right now, you guys. I know, it's it's boring. I know it's a diamond bag. Plenty of people have a boring diamond bag cage, but I just don't love the look. So this is very short term. Please, please remember that. Almost every cage we have all of our snakes in, short term. But we're balling on a budget here, folks. Like you know. We're working on the glow up together. So you got to say you were here before the glow up and uh, whew, can't wait for that glow up. But for now, we got her little, her little wet spot good. She's got her hot spot. She's got her water dish. We're gonna get the snake back out. We're gonna admire her for just one second. We don't wanna bother her too long. And then back into her cage she goes for her to enjoy her night. Being that this snake has been so nice all this time, my brain tells me, you can switch to your hook that you like, your cool Midwest tongs hook. Ooh, so beautiful. We love Midwest tongs. Not yet. We're gonna stick with old Stinky for now. A little bit longer. This is my first snake hook. I made it myself out of a golf club, my buddy and I made it with a soldering iron. It's still working to this day. As, as much as I do have false confidence now after handling the snake a few times, we're not gonna do it yet. We got an order placed with Midwest, so uh, so once we get those new hooks, we'll have a better one to interact with this snake with. But for now, old Rusty it is. So let's get her out, Miss Rabbit. I'm calling her Rabbit for now, I think we like it. We're not, we're not exactly sure, but we're gonna go with Rabbit for now. Let's get her out nice and carefully. Take a quick look at her, put her away. I say we call that one a day, what do you kids think? Kids, how beautiful is she though? Huge Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, absolutely amazing. Like I said, as cool as she is, we're not gonna bother her too much. Take a quick look at that head. The amount of venom in that head right there. There's enough venom in that song, oh, boy, that'll do you good, man. Jokes aside, this is a very serious snake who we're very grateful to have. 
and we're gonna take very, very good care of. Now, you don't wanna to get too comfortable. This is a position rattlesnakes are known to do in the wild. They'll take their first half, cover themselves up, go into a bush, leave this out to say, ooh, I know you want to touch me, and then bam, they are launch back out of the bush. That is not a mistake you want to make with a snake of this caliber, you guys. Look at the thickness on that eastern diamondback. Wow. Just gonna let her work her way in there. Her new home, some new smells, some new feelings. The fact that we got lucky enough to have a wild rattlesnake that's this calm, now maybe I'm naive in my head and I like to think the snake understands the situation and knows blah, 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 blah. Most likely, we just got lucky. We're treating the animal with respect, so it's in turn treating us with respect, handling it with care, doing what we've been taught to do. Somehow, some way, the god of the serpents has blessed us with a beautiful Eastern Diamondback. And there she goes, look at her. She said, you know what, Pepe? I'm not sure about you yet, bro. But I'll tell you one thing, you're gaining some ground. Thanks for the house. That's what I like to believe she's thinking. And you see those tongue flicks? Ooh, she might be about ready for a meal. We're gonna give her another few days. We're gonna get Justin over here. But boy, oh boy, look how beautiful that rattlesnake is, man. Whew. Insane. That's that, my friends. Another one in the books. We had a great day. We're gonna go edit this video. We're gonna get her done. And then you're all gonna see it. So drop a like, drop a comment, please subscribe. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers, guys. That's huge. Oh, update on the mullet competition. We're doing pretty well. After the first round, we were in second place, which was, we love second place, that's huge. After round two, we slipped a bit. We're down to ninth place, but we still qualified for the top 25. So I'm not, I'm not mad at you guys. Could never be mad at you guys, let's clarify that, so. But we're happy. We're in ninth place. Make sure you have your notifications on because I do posts with the link for the mullet competition. The next round, I think, starts October 1st. Remember, $10,000 grand prize. And if you do care to donate, every single dollar of those donations goes to Jared Allen's Wounded Warriors Project. An honorable cause. By the way, we're doing a giveaway for this next round of the mullet competition. All you have to do is donate $5, just $5, Send me a screenshot, either to my email or to my Instagram. A screenshot with the verification. I'm going to enter your name, put you guys on a wheel. Winner, two shirts, five stickers. Does that sound good? Five dollars. That's all you got to donate. Two shirts, five stickers. That's worth, I don't know, like, that's like a 90 to $80, $90 deal for five dollars. And if you donate more, let's say for every multiple, I'm doing this right here off the fly. Every multiple of five you donate, we'll call that one entry. Right? It seems good. So you donate 25, that's five entries. Put your name on a wheel, spin it. Brrr. Spin it one time. Or should we spin it two times? We'll do two spins. First winner gets two shirts, five stickers. Second place gets one shirt, three stickers. Okay? Just made it up right here, man. But it's on YouTube forever, so you gotta hold me to it. Email? Instagram, and if you don't have either of those, I mean, first of all, that's kind of crazy you don't have email, but we'll figure it out if you really do donate, but you need proof. Boy, you need proof. Don't come lying to me now. I'll catch you lying, I'm gonna come smack you. You heard me? All right, guys, I love you all very much. I'm more grateful for you than you could ever understand. Every day, life continues to amaze me with how much fun and how incredible life can be. So don't forget that. Seriously, it's very important. Lights off, we're headed out of here. Remember to make somebody's day today. Give someone a hug. Call someone you haven't called in a while. Tell them you love them. Those are all good things to do, and it feels good to do them. Until next time, see ya.